Okay, so we're going to do a video on how to remove the DME so you can send it out to get tuned. So you're going to need a 15 millimeter, a 16 millimeter, uh, a T25, a pair of needle nose pliers will help you out, and a screwdriver. So first what we're going to do is we need to remove this strut brace arm here. So on the back side of this cover there are two uh, plastic clips, you need to get those off when the cover pops up. And then you need to remove this cover, which there are also two clips here and here. And then there are two on this side. I have to move some wires so you can see the other one. And then that one pops off. And what we're going to do is we're going to unplug the DME. So you need to remove this white cover here. So that, there's gonna be two uh, tabs. There's one on this side. And there is one on this side. Let's see if I can get it without a flashlight. This is tight, that's why you have the needle nose pliers for it, to kind of grip these little tabs here to pull it up. This one I've taken out before, so it's fairly easy. Okay, then you have your DME, which is in there. Next thing you need to do is there are two coolant lines. They have blue tabs on them that you push down and then push the hose off. Uh, now due to the age of the car, I've broken the tab on this one on two different cars. Uh, this one usually comes off pretty easy. But just be prepared for that. If the coolant hose breaks, you'll have to buy a new, a new one. Uh, I mean, they're not that expensive, like 30 bucks. Okay, so down in here, you push that blue tab in, or I should say straight down, and then use a screwdriver at the same time to push the hose out that way on both sides here. <clears throat> okay, so we'll hold that. Okay, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna slide these hoses off. And you gotta kinda push them down and out of the way. And then, you just pull the DME straight out. 